How's it going guys? Today we're going to be reviewing the $47 gaming PC case on Amazon. And yes, it is RGB, so it's going to look nice and pretty whenever you build it. And it's cheap. It's budget friendly. There's not a lot of cases like this out there, especially ones that stay in stock. But this one seems to consistently be at the top of Amazon's list and it's always in stock fluctuating around $50. And throughout this video, if you guys ever just wanna check it out while you're watching this or something, I'll have a link to it down below. So this video will be separated into three quick parts. So first we're gonna be looking at the looks of this case and going over some simple functions. And then we're gonna be looking at the quality of this case. And then lastly, we'll be looking at how easy it is to build in, which is probably like the most important part. So make sure you guys stay tuned. So this is a really pretty case, especially for the price, because you get that RGB lighting effect right on the front of this case. And you don't even have to to have RGB headers on your motherboard. It's all controlled through the case so you guys could go through all the different modes that you guys want on the front. Now it does come with one fan in the rear but it does not have fans in the front or at least mine didn't and then it also doesn't have any other lights throughout the case. So if you guys really want to make this case pop you may want to add an RGB fan on the back. It does come with an acrylic panel on the side and it does seem to be slightly tinted so if you guys have an ugly motherboard, it's not gonna stand out too much, don't worry. On the top of this case, we have a bunch of ports. We have one USB 3, we have a SD card reader and a micro SD card reader, which is really helpful actually. And then we have just two standard USBs and a mic and an aux jack. So overall, I would say this is a really pretty case, especially for the price. I think the lighting effect really sells this case. So in regards of quality, this is a lighter case. It is not temper glass, you have acrylic instead. So there's just some ways to cut down the price to actually get it at the absurd price of $47 because it's pretty hard to even make something like that for that price. It is a budget case, so there's a lot of plastic and it feels light, like I was saying earlier, because of all the plastic. Obviously, where the motherboard sits, it's still metal. Everything that needs to be metal is metal, and where they could cut corners, they did. I don't think you guys would be disappointed with this case if you guys got it quality-wise, because I'm not. I've built a lot of PCs, and I've been pleasantly surprised by this one at $47. I think the quality of this case really shows when it comes to building and maybe not in the best way. So for building, there are a decent amount of cable routes that you could like route wires through, but on the top, they do design it so the motherboard does hit the very top. So you're not gonna be able to route a wire easily over the motherboard. Sometimes you have to route the wire before you even mount the motherboard down so you don't have to get the big CPU connector through that tiny little gap. So it was a little harder to build in this case, which is just kind of what happens when you buy a cheaper case. But overall, I don't think it's a reason to skip out on this case because it's definitely manageable. It just takes a little extra time. Something else that's really nice to note is that the RGBs on the front do not need to be connected to an RGB controller, which sometimes is a little bit intimidating for a new build. So for $47, I don't think you guys could go wrong with this case. It's something cheap. You guys could get it now and then upgrade in the future whenever you guys feel like getting some a little nicer. So that is my review on the AeroCool case. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, I have a link down below if you guys want to check it out. See you guys on the next video.